So how do you manage your time when you're trying to run multiple businesses? Let's talk about it. What's up, y'all? It's AJ Simmons coming to you with another video. I want to talk about balancing your time. Uh, when you have a lot of ventures going on, you might... Uh, the person actually who requested me to do this, shout out to Calvin Weaver. Uh, you might have seen him on my channel a few times. He actually um, asked me to look into how to balance your time because he's actually a, a, he's a music artist then he also has a cleaning company and he also has a job so he has a lot on his plate and so this would be my answer to you it's, it's really kind of simple and I would say what you need to what you will have to do is is a lot time so you're gonna have to be very precise about your time schedule it and then and then stay and stick to that because I mean running a business alone is a lot Okay, that's that's just a time by itself. Then having a job is not only a lot, but it can also be draining on your time. Like once you get off, you kind of don't want to do anything else. And then not to mention you throw in your music career, and it's like, <laughs> and it's like, you know, I don't. Good luck to your family. You know what I mean? So this is what I would say though. I would say because the cleaning um, business is usually an evening thing if you have commercial accounts with far as the actual cleaning. So if you're still the one that's doing the cleaning then you'll probably be doing that in the evening. As far as finding the customers, you might do that in the daytime. But if you have a job, then you probably will actually, you said you're going to sign up for my lease service. So number one, this is what I would recommend to somebody who wasn't signing up to my lease service. Probably hire someone else to take care of the finding the customers for you. That's the first thing. And in this particular case, you can use my lead generation service as one, okay? The other thing I would say is when it comes to the music, I probably would dedicate like two, th two days per week just to focus on music so maybe all day saturday saturday do nothing but write then on sundays maybe you you'll do nothing but recording your music so you're going to have to work seven days a week this is that's just my thinking because it, you have so much on your plate and there's a lot you know what i mean i can only imagine i actually um when i was a full-time artist myself i had to stop once i had my cleaning company i had to stop because it was it was too costly for me to pay for the music number one because i was i wasn't recording my own stuff back at the time i had to pay for studio time and promotional and all of that stuff so i just had to stop altogether and i locked in on the cleaning uh business and that because i also had kids and that kind of took took away from that time but you, it can be done you just have to manage your time like you said you got to manage your time right so i will say nine o'clock every morning let's say from at nine o'clock every single morning you get an app called Hoot, not Hootsuite, Plannerly. And what Plannerly does, it will allow you to pre-post your Instagram post. And you know when you post to Instagram, you can also post to Facebook at the same time. So as far as the social media, I will plan like three posts a day or maybe one post a day, however many posts you need for your accounts to handle all of your social media. Nine o'clock every day, go to Plannerly and, and plan out your post for that day. So you'll make have one at nine o'clock, then you have another one automatically scheduled to post at 12 and another one automatically scheduled to post at like five o'clock or something like that. And so that's how you handle the social media part. Just set one out one uh, time every day where you post to Plannerly and then Plannerly will take care of posting the rest of the day for you. Then as far as the actual writing, just pick one day every week where you write, just do nothing but write. Then as far as the recording, I will pick one day to do nothing but record. Okay. Now, if you have to do a show or anything, then obviously, um, I would have. I don't know whether you do your shows on weeknights or weekdays or weekends. Excuse me, y'all. I'm in the car. Y'all know I'm always rolling, and you probably can hear the uh, heater blowing in the background too. Sorry about that, but I just got to get it done. All right. <laughs> so, no, no excuses. But, all right. But I would say, um, when it comes to your performances and shows, try not to schedule more than one a week. That way. Uh, it won't throw off your routine schedule so much. Okay, so whenever you get a show, maybe it's every one on a Saturday. So that that one particular Saturday, instead of writing all day, you'll just do that show and focus on that show. Okay, and then as far as promoting the shows, again, when I say that nine o'clock every morning when you schedule in your post, put that in there. Okay, you, you promote your post with that uh, with the Plannerly app and, and have it go in like, just like that. So the bottom line, what's going to come down to is time management, just like you said. Just scheduling it, blocking out days, blocking out times every day, and then you'll have your regular work schedule at a certain time. Then you'll have your cleaning schedule at a specific time, and that's all you do. But most of you guys who are listening to this, in order to make multiple ventures and multiple streams of income work, they all tie together. I have a YouTube channel, I talk about cleaning. 
then I had an actual cleaning company, then I wrote an ebook about cleaning, and then I, you know what I mean, I had products that I was selling on the topic of cleaning. So everything kind of tied together so that way I can kill two birds in one stone sometime, all right? So if you do want to make multiple ventures work, it would help be in the same niche. However, I understand for those who are in the music industry and the music field, that a lot of times you that it can't always link together and I get that so hopefully this is able to help you guys who are in this particular situation and uh, if you need me to do more on this topic or try to help you a little bit more in detail you got a specific question let me know I'll see if I can help y'all out thank you real quick I want to tell you about my new lead generation program that will help you get more customers for your cleaning business and grow way faster than what you're probably growing now okay now this will be for uh, cleaning franchise owners as well as independent franchise owners okay excuse me as well as independent cleaning business owners i'm sorry all right so here if you just go to cleanbiznetwork.com you click on the menu tab in the upper left hand corner this is if you're on a phone if you're in a uh, if you're on a, a desktop then you'll see the tabs at the top of your screen and you go down at the very bottom second to the bottom that says janitorial leads i probably need to move that up a, a few tabs right you click on janitorial leads and it'll take you to the page about my lead generation program, okay? So here's what you'll get. We'll handle the cold call script for you so you don't have to tell us what to say. You just tell us where you are. We'll call a bunch of businesses in your area to try to get you some appointments to go bid, okay? These are not, we send you leads and then you got to race to the phone and, and hopefully you call the lead before somebody else does like Home Advisor does. This is leads calling directly on behalf of your company, so that we can get you real bid appointments with people who really want to speak with you, okay? We'll create a list of leads for uh, the call for you. So, and when we create that lead, the list of leads, uh, it'll be in a spreadsheet document. You can watch us live as we as we uh, track the calls and the results in our call log. So when we track the results of those calls inside our call log on the spreadsheet, you'll get a link to actually view us typing in and that log as we're doing it okay then we'll schedule the actual appointments for you and then once we schedule those appointment you'll automatically get a notification in your email to let you know when the uh, actual appointment is okay so whenever we do this you'll be able to watch it and then once we get in a uh, customer who says or potential customer that says okay you can come in on monday at 10 a.m You'll get an email directly to your email and uh, to, to let you know that that's when you need to come in and who you need to meet with, where it's located, the phone number, everything, okay? And then we guarantee you appointments or your money back, okay? So this is how it works. You'll come here, put in your application. This, this is a little quick application. Put in your name, your company's name, uh, your email address that you want the, the appointment notification to come to. And then tell us how many calls you want to buy, okay? So we charge by the call. It's a dollar a call. So if you buy 100 calls, it's $100, okay? You buy 1,000 calls, it's $1,000, all right? Uh, list up to three cities that you want us to call, uh, pro that you provide service in, and we'll call almost every business, depending on how many calls you buy. So if you buy 1,000 calls, we might have to call every single company in those three cities uh, to make sure that we get you all of the leads that we guarantee to you, okay? Uh, how many days after the call is made should we schedule your appointment? So we just ask you what your uh, preferred time for your appointment is. And then again, here is where you can actually choose uh, how many calls you want to purchase. Now, this is the kicker, okay? This is not just some lead generation service that, okay, well, you pay us $100 for 100 calls. And then if we don't get any appointments for you in those 100 calls and you just out back, no. If you could pay for 100 calls, we guarantee you to at least get you one appointment out of those 100 calls. Now, if we make 100 calls and get you 50 appointments out of those 100 calls, all 50 appointments for you, of the all 50 of those appointments are yours, okay? There's no limit on how many you can get. We just put a minimum there so that way you always get at least something for your money. And the good thing about that, too, is if you're only paying $100 for those 100 calls and that one appointment, let's say that one appointment is worth $2,000 a month. Okay, so you just paid $100 to get $2,000 a month account. You can't beat that anyway, okay? If you go to this one and you pay for 10 appointments, what if all 10 of those appointments are $2,000 a month? You see what I'm saying? Or maybe 10 of them are $100 each. Either way, you only paid $1,000 for it, and now you're grossing $1,000 a month off of 10 $100 appointments. Now, let's be real. There's no $100 a month accounts, right? We don't even accept $100 a month accounts. You guys should have minimum prices where you shut it off even if, 
I don't care if the account is only 500 square feet and you go on once a week, you still got to, you know, charge at least a minimum, okay? But anyway, that was just an illustration. But we guarantee you a certain amount of uh, appointments every month, okay? So you don't have to worry about just paying us money and then not even getting that one bid appointment, all right? Here's the details you can kind of read through. It says, please allow us 30 business days from the day that you buy in to meet your guarantee, okay? So if you buy in today, we have 30 business days from today to uh to send you your appointments, your guaranteed appointments, all right? Now, here's the thing. It usually won't take us nowhere near the actual 30 days. The only way they might even get close to that is if you buy 10 appointments at one time. And even then, I don't think it won't even get close. Somebody just bought five appointments the other day and... It was uh we got we took care of all of his appointments were scheduled within the two day span okay we start and it usually takes us about a week to get to your start actually working on your calls just because we always make sure that we were backloaded so we have people who are who bought in before you who are, we had to serve them first right first come first serve but as soon as we get started on your calls your appointments are usually scheduled scheduled very fast okay uh, we guarantee a one percent minimum conversion rate. I just explained to you about that. So for every one hundred calls, you would, we guarantee at least one appointment for you. All right, but we're going to make those hundred calls or thousand calls or however many calls that you pay for. All right, all right about that. If your minimum appointment is uh, guarantee is not met within thirty days, then we will re thirty business days. We will refund all of your money within seven days. Okay, so if you if you buy a thousand calls and we guarantee you ten appointments and we can't deliver that within thirty days, we'll give you your whole thousand dollars back. Okay, so you can't lose with this. It's a money back guarantee and everything. All right, you are responsible for closing your appointments. We do not guarantee customers uh, will actually use your service. We do know that the customers are interested. They agreed to have this appointment with you. Okay. So they do have interest, but it's up to you to go in there and sell and close the deal, okay? It's not our fault if you go in and they decide that they don't like your company because your company seems too small for them. That's not our fault. That you, That's up to you to present your company in the best way to close the deal, okay? Uh, and now, if for whatever reason, this, this, this usually will never, ever happen, but if for whatever reason, uh, I won't say never, ever, but if for whatever reason you get a appointment set, excuse me, <clears throat> If you get an appointment set and you go in and the customer thinks it says, oh, I didn't schedule any appointment with you. So you the lead may uh, you feel like the lead is bogus. You reach out to me and we'll figure out a way to rectify that for you. Uh, usually we either give you additional 100 calls or we either give you another guaranteed appointment. OK, so but just reach out to me and let me know. But I can promise you most of the time. Uh, we don't do any bogus leads. I, like we had some early problems, you know, growing pains. We did have some, some problems like that in the past. I fired those employees and we have moving on. We know we have a strict policy about making sure that our leads are confirmed. OK. And then also when you get the information for the appointment, you can call and confirm the lead as well. I don't recommend it unless you just really feel like you have to do it or if you know you have a very good phone voice. OK. If you don't think that your phone voice is very well. Uh, I probably would hold off on confirming the lead and just trust that we already confirmed the lead only because you don't want to turn the customer off. We already took some time out of their day to schedule the appointment and then for somebody to come back and call them again just to ask them how they sure, you know, that might make them say, you know what, just since you asked, no, I don't want to do it no more. So just be careful with the confirming, okay? Uh, you are responsible again for closing your leads though, all right? We are not responsible if you miss your appointment for whatever reason. The appointments are sent to your email. We usually schedule all appointments with, uh, you know, within a, a two day uh, st span in between the day that we actually schedule it and the day that you're actually supposed to go in. So if you need to reschedule your appointment for whatever reason, you can just call them and reschedule. OK, uh, we won't reschedule it for you. That's something that you would have to do. And you need to make sure that you're very tentative to your emails. OK, because if you miss the appointment, then that's up to you. OK, that's on you. Now, all lead appointments provided to you have expressed interest in your service. However, we do not guarantee that the lead will hire you. Hire you. As again, I mentioned that before. All right. It's your responsibility to sell. All right. The leads provided to you can be any commercial niche. OK, it can be of any commercial niche. So that includes medical offices, dental offices, churches, retail stores, uh, real estate offices, I got I have law firms up here, but we probably won't call law firms. All right. Just because they're lawyers and I don't want them to um, add us to. They do not call us or any type of things like that. But also manufacturers will probably be up there and any type of business services. OK, 
Uh, so then once you fill out this application, you just click submit. Once you click submit, um, that's it. Okay. You agree to the terms and we'll get rolling on your case. All right. Uh, if you purchase a hundred calls and okay, so this is some frequently asked questions. So if I purchase a hundred calls and you get me an appointment on the, on the 10th call, will you still make the other 90 calls that I purchased? And the answer to that is yes. Okay. You're paying for calls and not appointments, but we do provide a minimum appointment guarantee to ensure that you receive the best deal. Okay. So if you pay for a hundred calls, you will get your hundred calls. If we make a hundred calls and you don't get an appointment and guess what? We're going to make as many appoint calls as we need to to get you that one appointment because, like I said, we guarantee. So even if it take us a 1,000 calls to get you one appointment, we will make you a 1,000 calls. Okay, some of the people who already bought in who've been watching that call log will see we've made 500 and something calls sometime to get some people one appointment because certain localities are different than, you know, than others, okay? All right, so the busier ones are usually easier, okay? Um. What if I'm not available on the date that the appointment was scheduled? As I stated, you can just call ahead of time and let them know that you need to reschedule. Uh, just blame it on us, okay? When you call these customers and you think you need to reschedule, just say, oh, my assistant uh, didn't realize well, I've already had an appointment booked for that day and time. Can you uh, move it to a next, another time, okay? Simple as that. All right, another common question asked is, can I keep the call log once you are finished providing me with the calls that I purchased? So the answer to that is yes, you can keep the call log. I always recommend that you copy because like I said, you will be able to go in and view the spreadsheet that we're using. I recommend that you copy it and paste it into an offline uh, Microsoft Excel file or your own spreadsheet, okay? So, but just make sure you keep a file. So that way, if we do, let's say it takes us 105 calls to make, uh, your to get your appointment well it's probably going to still be another 150 something contacts on that list that we never reached out to so you can go reach out to those contacts yourself or when you look at our list you'll see that some of the notes says it they told us to try back in three months they told us to try back in six months they said this they said that and you can go look through the notes and try to reach back out to some of those leads that we didn't follow up on okay so just uh, definitely you can keep the call off. Another common question is how soon after I purchase can I expect to start receiving appointments? As I stated, we usually start uh, sending out appointments about a week after the day that you purchase, okay? But we'll be in constant contact with you from, from the time that you buy in. You'll get an email confirming that you bought in. Then right, probably about two, uh, one or two days after that, you'll get an email showing you the link to access your call log so you can watch us work. And then right after that, you'll start getting appointments straight to your email, all right? Another common question I've been starting to get is, can this? Can I get the service even if I'm with a franchise? The answer to that is absolutely you can, okay? So it doesn't matter, franchise, non-franchise. Again, I'm just here to make sure everybody eat, okay? So this Clean Biz Network, we got we covering all cylinders. We're going to help you get started. We're going to help you and have, provide a network for you with the Clean Biz Network uh, Mastermind Group. Then we're going to make sure that you know how to bid with CalculatedClean.com so you can get the price right. And then we're going to make sure that you can grow your business by providing these leads, okay? So hopefully this video was able to help you. And if you are interested, just make sure you go to CleanBizNetwork.com, click the menu tab, and go down to Janitorial Leads, and you can roll from there. All right, thank you all for watching.